I love using tools and programs that help me make my life easier, whether it's doing genealogy or working with photos, uh, whatever I find myself into. I'm Ellen Thompson Jennings. I call myself the Family History Hound. And so today I'd like to share a tool that I've used quite often called Scapel. I hope you enjoy the presentation. <music> quite a few years. It's called Scapple. It's a mind mapping tool. It's put out by a company called Literature and Latte. They also have a product called Scrivener. It, it's kind of unique because normally you might have a 30-day trial and it would be 30 consecutive days, but in this case it's a 30 days of use. So if it takes you a year to use it 30 times, then you won't have to pay a subscription until the 30th time. So I, I just find it a great way of capturing my thoughts when I'm working on a DNA case or a genealogy case. And it, rather than uh, scribbling a bunch of notes all over uh, pages and then having them all over my desk, this way I can uh, put my thoughts down on the paper and then I can even pass them to the client. So let's look at the under files. Of course, you have your typical ones. You have the new, open, and recently opened. Then the close, save, save as, export. Uh, page setup, you can actually change the setup of the page. You can see a print preview. And uh, one of the, the features that probably you would, would most likely use is the options and here you can actually once you've done it a few times you'll understand why you might want to uh, change it from how it comes out of the box so if you go into new notes here you see it has no borders and if I do put one it'll be rounded but you can actually choose that it always is uh, whatever you typically would use so and then you can have a choose a color for your borders so you can make some changes you can also do some different shapes so that is that uh, there's the typical editing and views notes all the typical uh, setup things and I don't really fuss with that too much. So if I was going to start a new mind map, I would double click and it gives this bubble and I could put, we'll put new note. And here's where you can see where that, you know, creating that option might be useful. So because it doesn't, I haven't set up that option. I now have to right click and then I can go to borders and I can choose three points. So if I always want to use three points, that's one of the options that I might want to change. Now I can also right click and apply some note styles. So I can make blue bubbles, brown, green, pink, red text, uh, yellow, yellow bubbles. So this would be green. Then if I want to create another note, I do that. So you can see where that having it always do the same thing is handy and then more notes so sometimes I you know you can write as much as you want on a note so sometimes I have uh, URLs uh, so that you can easily click on them and go directly to whatever you are are looking at so say a newspaper article that you want that you've captured then you might go directly to that note or to that URL. So we're going to just make one final change to this one and put the border and maybe we'll make it uh, pink and maybe we'll even make it jagged. So now we have three notes. So if this were uh, at the beginnings of a tree, maybe I don't want to make a tree just yet on a program so I'm going to use this so I would take this and drag it and now I have a dotted line to the top and same here so you can see how this can start to be the beginnings of a tree 
And basically that's it. Um, once you've made something like this, then you can get a little quick look at what it would look like in print. So maybe you'd want to change the layout to something, you know, landscape rather than the way it is right now. But uh, basically, and then you can of course save it as various kinds of folders. So you can save it and you can also and you can also export it as a PDF, as an image. So, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can present it and use it. So I hope this helps and I will put a link to Scapple in the show notes. And why don't you give it a try for 30 days? Thanks and have a great day. Thank you.